So I will record this. I will record this call. I did record the one from yesterday, but it was taking a long time to, um, like, I don't know, download or whatever the case may be. I would have to search through my computer to see if it finally did. Hopefully it did. Um, Because if not, I have to record it again. Um, But it's okay. Hopefully I can find it. But can you guys drop a one in the chat if you can hear me? I mean, you guys are answering. But if you can hear me and you can see my screen. um, Because we're about to really get into it. Like the fact that they called a Bitcoin trade 30 minutes ago. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, bet. Everyone should be able to come off mute if you guys have a question. But first thing that we're gonna do, you guys, is look at the steps. So I might have to like go off of this because if you guys notice, every time you click on a strategy, the steps come up. Just like how we went to De- well, when we went to Delorean. It had like, you know, training at the top. They don't have this for this, but whenever you click on it, it's right here. It's right here. So these are the first three steps. I'm gonna add a fourth step, um, but these are the first three steps. Um, whenever you come onto this, now these are, you do not have access to this if you don't have the Elite Pack. If you have the Elite Pack, you can literally make money on Forex, HFX, and crypto. Like there's too much money over here. So when we're looking at the Swipe Coin Scalper, we are looking to trade crypto. Crypto is open 24-7, 24-7. Um, so when you pull this up, you definitely want to follow these steps to know, okay, am I going to get into this trade? So you're going to get an alert, right? This is the alert panel over to the right. And everyone should have the Swipe Coin app. The Swipe Coin app. If you have the Elite Pack, you need the Swipe Coin app. Drop a two in the chat if you have the Swipe Coin app already. You're, you have it downloaded. You're logged in. Drop a three in the chat if you're about to download it right now. Drop a three if you're about to download it right now. But drop a two in the chat if you already have Swipe Coin. Because the app sends you alerts for, of course, you know, regular signals. But they also send you scalper alerts. So sometimes y'all, y'all phone may be buzzing. And you're like, well, why is my phone buzzing? And it's saying Bitcoin 15 minutes. I don't see a signal. They're talking about the scalper. Drop a seven in the chat if you've seen that. Like you like, wow. Because I did, I was doing that. Like, I was like, dang, why does it keep alerting me? It's not even giving any signals. It's talking about the scalper. So you get that alert. And if you're able, pull this up, go through your four steps, and then decide if you're gonna get into this trade. So we're about to jump right into it, you guys. Um, everyone, honestly, I didn't introduce myself, assuming that you guys knew who I was. Um, I'm Ebony Nelson. Um, I literally trade in every single market that this academy offers. Not going to lie. Anything that they're, they have on the table for us to make money in, I, I'm, a, I'm a part of that. Um, so this product has made me a lot of money. And not just me. I've been able to help a lot of people have $500 days, $700 days, $1,000 weeks because they know how to use this, this strategy. Um, so drop a 10 in the chat. If you guys have no talk, you're ready to learn something new. You're ready to sharpen up your skills so that you can practice this over the weekend because the Forex market and the HFX market is closing in an hour. It is. Nothing you can do about it. It won't be open again until Sunday night. So if you don't really have any plans of making any more money this weekend, you need to be using this. You need to be on the side coin scalper. So... I'm about to get right into it. Hopefully, you guys have notes. Um, but step one, when you pull this up, you guys, you're going to change the candlesticks to a line chart. You're going to change your chart from the candles, like how you see right here, to a line chart. That's step one. Step two, you want to spot the break and close of structure right where they call that signal. Like right here. If they call it right here or, you know, call it right here. Wherever the most recent signal was, you want to put a spot the break and close of structure. So the way we would do that is we're going to put a horizontal line there. Sometimes they already have a horizontal line for us because it does the work for us. And we just need to see, okay, does it break this line and close above the line? Okay. Is it, you know, is this a support and resistance area? That's what we're going to look for. And then step three you want the yellow line, the 50 EMA, the yellow line, you want that to be below price for a buy, 
and above price for a sale. Above price for a sale. And step four, um, we're going to add a super trend indicator. We're going to add a super trend indicator for step four. And when the super trend is red, then we want to get we want to get into the sale. It's going to be red. The line is going to be red. And it's also going to give us a red arrow for another confirmation. And then for the buy, the, the super trend is going to be green with a green arrow for another confirmation. So those are your first four steps. I want you guys to drop a four in the chat when you have those four steps, because now we're going to actually like do the four steps. Like we're going to. I'm going to exit out of this and we're going to actually do those steps to see, are we taking this Bitcoin buy? And when it comes to the swipe coin scalper, you guys, we're not in these, we're only in these trades for, you know, increments of 15 minutes. So when I decide to get into a trade like this, I set my alarm for 15 minutes. And if I come back and I'm not in profit or whatever the case may be, I'm going to set my alarm for another um, but if I'm up and I'm liking it, I'm going to just get out. I'm going to just secure my profits. Um, but you can also set take profits as well. If you guys don't, this is not HFX. I got to put that out there right now. This is not HFX. We are using the MetaTrader 4 app, MetaTrader 5 app, and we are buying and selling these currencies. This is not HFX. So if you don't know anything about regular Forex, crypto, Baby, I need you to get informed. I'm not even going to lie to you. The clicking and the minutes, that's cool and all, but this is really where the money is. This is really where the money is. So did you guys drop? Okay, I'm going to assume everybody has the steps. No one dropped the four in the chat, but I must go on. So they called a signal, right, for 40. For 40. And I'm not even going to lie. I'm about to go through these steps because I'm probably going to get into it because um, I already like what I see here. So step one, okay, stop doing that. Step one, okay, stay. Step one, we're gonna change the candles to lines. Change the candles to lines, boom, okay. And this is where they call the trade, right here, right here. So you can either use right here, like literally right where they caught it. That's usually what I usually do. I usually just put it right where the little point is, where the signal, so I'm gonna go over here, grab a horizontal line, and I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna make the line a little bigger so I can really see it. Boom. And I, the first thing I'm looking for, is this an active support or resistance? So the way that I know that is I'm looking for how many times did the market come and touch this area? I'm looking for, honestly, three or more touches. Three or more touches. So I already see touches right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. And if you keep going, you're going to see more and more touches. So this is, yes, it is a support and resistance area. I like that. I like that. So that's step one. Well, that's step two, really. Step one is the line chart. Step two is finding the active support and resistance. So I put a horizontal line here. I made the line thicker so I could really see, you know, I can make it pink so y'all can see whatever. Boom. Now I'm looking for a break and close. Now the easiest way, I already see that it broke it. I already see that it broke it. And it clearly closed because it's traveling, you know, above. Now they also give you this, this little note right here. If it breaks and closes above here, that confirms the buy as well. So if I would have already been in this, which I wasn't, I would have definitely just took another re-entry for real. Like, that's just me. Um, so I'm going to change this back, but I'm going to put it as Hakanashi candles. And we use the Hakanashi candles, you guys, because that just shows us the momentum of the market. So with this, it, it broke it. It did great things. It did great things. Now let's add our super trend. Let's add our super trend indicator. Okay, super trend is added. And we're going to go to the settings tool right here in the middle. And we're going to change our settings to one and one. One, one. And then go to style. And I just like to make my colors, you know, like 
just darker, make the the opacity one hundred percent. Um, the lines thicker. That's all I do. I keep it the same though. Well, I'm gonna make this one more red because I don't like this red. It's kind of ugly. Um, okay, that's fine. And then you know, just make it easier to see. I don't want to. I don't like to be confused. So okay, boom. So as you guys can see, the super trend is clearly green, clearly. And we have the arrow right here. Let me zoom in a little bit. Unless you zoom in, it's hard to see the arrow sometimes. So zoom in, here's the arrow. So we had the arrow here and the super trend was green, boom, 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 boom. It came above the EMA right here. So that's solid, that's what we needed that. And then we got the buy right here. Everything was already lining up. Everything was already lining up. You just needed the break and the close and you're in the trade and you're in the trade. But now it would be best if we wait for the break, which it already did, and close above this line. So in 10 minutes, in 10 minutes, we'll be able to tell if we're going to get into this Bitcoin buy for sure for another 15 minutes or another 15 minutes. So that is for the buy. That is for the buy. So those are our four steps. I'm going to go through those steps one more time since we're waiting for these 10 minutes. Um, and hopefully we have enough time where I can quickly go over the sale. Um, or maybe we'll have to go over the sale once we get into the trade. Um, drop a five in the chat if you do have a demo account at least um, and or a live account on MetaTrader 4 or MetaTrader 5. On MetaTrader 4 or MetaTrader 5, you have a demo account or a live account. Five's in the chat. Oh, I said four? Okay. Yeah, just let me know something. <laughs> something, y'all. For real. Y'all know I'll be forgetting what number I said. Okay, only Sarah and Jalen? Who else is on the call? Oh, yeah, you guys are not tapped in. You guys have not been on my trainings. It's okay. You know, perfectly fine. But, um, yeah, we won't be doing that today. But you, go, you guys definitely catch me on Monday when we do the Forex Basics. Every day, every day, this time. So the step one, we get the alert, you guys. They ping us on our phone. We get the alert, and we come here, and we see Bitcoin right here on the alert panel. We like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me check Ethereum, actually. Oh, no. Okay, Ethereum was six hours ago. Ethereum is going to be coming soon. It's going to be coming soon. I already know. Um, they're giving us the confirmation for the sale, though. But it'll be coming soon because it, it does the same thing as Bitcoin, but Bitcoin is going to move faster. So that's fine. So the first step is, okay, what are you doing? Because you see it's pulling back, you guys. You saw I just dropped back like that? That's why we wait, because we don't want to just, oh, just jump in. And then now we're fried. Like we try, we, oh my gosh, it's so red. Like patience pays. So we're going to change this to a line chart right up here. Line chart, boom. And then we need to spot the support and resistance. So I'm going to grab a horizontal line and I'm going to put it right here. I put it right here because that's where they caught the trade at. That's where they caught the trade at. So they put it right here. Is this a support and resistance? I'm looking for three or more touches. Touch, 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 touch. Let's see. Touch, touch. Like there's so many touches. Yes, this is a great area, perfect, you know, beautiful. And we're looking for the break and close. We already see it broke and it definitely closed, but let's change it back to our Hakanashi candles just to make sure. So it broke on this candle right here. And it also closed up here. It closed right here and closed right here. So taking this trade here, yeah, you would have got a little bit of drawdown, but it came back up. So you're definitely in profit. You're definitely in profit. It's above our yellow EMA. So it's looking good. Steps one through three is looking really, really good. And step four, we're going to add our super trend. Because we just need another, just more reassurance. Like, I love just as much reassurance as I can get. Like, what? You cannot go wrong with some reassurance. Okay. Um, so we're going to change our inputs to one, one. And... I just want to be able to see y'all. I don't want to be confused or anything like that. So let's do that. Boom. All right. Okay. 
perfect. And my, my super train is green and we had the green arrow back here. So it's looking good, you guys. It's looking really, really good. So because it's already broke our, you know, area, we, we missed it. It caught it an hour ago. Like, <laughs> we got to wait. Um, but it's also telling us right here that if it break and close this line, it confirms the buy. So because we have that also, we got we have another chance. We, ha we have another chance. Um, so it's about five minutes till the next candle. So let's look at the sale. They caught the sale right here, you guys. They caught the sale right here. So we would change it to our, you know, they called it, what, five hours ago. So we would change this to our line chart. Change this to our line chart. I'm going to make the super trend go away for a while. Um, and I, this is where we would have put our line at, right here. And I already see, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, it's, it's touching it. It's touching it. It is. So, okay, okay, okay. And now we're looking for the break and the close. You see it. the line broke through. So you definitely see that it did that. Put it back to our Hakanashi candles. It broke through and it closed. You would have taken this trade down. Now, let's see how far we would have taken this trade. Because like I said, you guys, you can set your alarm for 15 minutes. Come back. And if you're up, just go ahead and take your profit. Like, if you don't really know, like, what to do. But I want you guys to write this down because your take profits are going to be in increments of 50 pips. So TP1 is going to be 50 pips. So I'm going to take this ruler right here, this ruler tool on the side, and I am going to start, let's say I start at this line, but you're going to start like where you're going to enter the trade or where the market is right now. And I'm going to just take this down and the number in front of the decimal is the number that's going to tell you how many pips you're looking at. So CP1 is 50 pips, you guys, like we would have got that so fast. So that's why I usually just get in and I just set my, my alarm um, because then TP2 is 100 pips. TP2 is 100 pips and then TP3 is 150 pips. So you see this market touched all the way down to almost 450 pips to about 450 pips. So you, you made a lot of money off that trade, definitely. Moral of the story. So if we're looking at right now, this definitely went past 100 pips. I can already tell. Um, so we, it already took us all the way up to almost 275 pips. Um, so I definitely want to see this break and close in the next three minutes to see what it's going to do. Um, but I do want to let you guys know that put this super trend back on. You guys see these arrows. If we get another green arrow at any point, that's also letting us know that we can enter again. That's also letting us know that we can enter again. So taking this buy, for example, if you would have got in when they called this buy here, you got the arrow, the super trend is green, it's above the orange. Um, and I can already tell that that this is a this is a support area. I can already just tell. You see all these candles, you can you could just already tell. Um, and so you taking it up, right? Boom, 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 boom. You in profit. Yes, you see this yellow, this this red arrow, and you can decide to just get out. You can just decide. You know what? I'm gonna just take my profit right now. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't call it what seven hundred pips. Even if you stop right here, I didn't call five hundred pips. I'm gonna just take my profit. Or let's say you wasn't paying attention, and you was like, oh, you know, and you just go back to your phone. You see it dropping a little bit, and you go, you come back and look, and you're like, oh, my gosh, a red arrow. The woo -de -woo. Of course, your stop loss should be moved up. Your stop loss should definitely be moved up. So you either got stopped out in profit, or let's say you forgot, and you came back, and then you saw another green arrow. You could then decide if you wanted to get into another entry and take it all the way back up. And then you see here, you're going to get the red screen before you get the arrow anyway. So you can then decide, okay, do I want to take my profit? Do I want to take my profit? And if, let's say you did not take your profit, you're back at your initial entry. You're back at your initial, well, really below your initial initial, initial entry a little bit. Um, but then you got this green arrow again. So, you know, your hope started to come back um, and then it's riding up. So you basically back where you started and you definitely could have entered again on this one lower than where you got in initially. And now you're up in all three of those trades. Um, so that's just kind of something you guys can keep in mind. We got one more minute 
And as you can see, price is currently already above the line. So I'm already looking to potentially be able to take this trade for at least 15 minutes. So with that being said, opening up our MetaTrader 5. But does anybody have any questions about this? I feel like I am kind of going over it a little fast, but honestly, like I know a lot of you guys don't even know what regular Forex is. Y'all probably don't even have a demo account or a live account on MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5. So this is really for my people that have been getting on the calls with us really every day um, that has their demo account set up. They understand the buying and selling of regular Forex pairs um, and they're ready to step their game up to the next level and get into these crypto pairs. So if you don't know, like, I don't know, just take the notes, just take the notes. Um, and it'll, it'll all just come together. You guys just, just take the notes down. Um, so like I said, I, I don't typically put parameters whenever I get into them. Honestly, I just get in and I set my alarm. Like I said, um, you can set a take profit if you want. We did we got eight seconds. So if we did do 150 pips, this would be about our TP right here. So you're not even looking for anything, you know, crazy. Not even looking for anything crazy. Beautiful. But does anybody have any questions at all? Literally any questions at all? Any questions at all? No one? Uh, can we have this recording dropped in the chat, please? Yes, ma'am. You definitely can. Uh, and I'm going to look for the other one as well. I mean, I don't know if you were on the call you. today, um, but I'm going to look for that one. It just, it, sometimes it takes a minute for it to like download to my computer. Um, but yeah, once it downloads, I'll drop it in there. Thank so, you. 37. Okay, so I got into two entries and I just put a TP for one of them. And then the other one, I'm going to just let it ride out, honestly. Um, but, like, literally, this is how you can make bank, like, over the weekend. Like, I, I used to get so mad over the weekend because it's like, dang, the market closed. Like, I can't make any money. And I don't know about you guys, but, like, I don't have a job. Like, I trade part-time and I live life full-time. So, like, this funds my life. Um, so, like, I actually set time aside and I that's why I participate in everything. I have an e-commerce store. I trade crypto. I trade HFX. I trade Forex. Um, and I built the business. So, I get paid every single Friday as well on top of making money every single day in all of those markets, not including the things I do outside of this space. So if you guys are sleeping on this academy, I need you to wake up. I really do need you to wake up, for real, for real. Bitcoin is blue. We're in profit. We're in profit. I hope you guys got in. <laughs> I hope you guys got in. You know, I'm not a professional trader or anything like that, but I do know how to use these products. So I didn't set my alarm yet, so I'm going to go ahead and just do it right now. I'll probably do like four. Well, it's... 3.32 right now, so I'm going to do 13 minutes. Um, and, yeah, like, <laughs> so happy and grateful. So that, I'm about to check this chat. Oh, what's the TP? Okay, okay, Ben. So I didn't see that you had asked that. But I'm going to tell you what I put in. I didn't put a stop loss, though, but I did. I put a TP for one of them. So I just calculated 150 pips i don't know where you got in though because it's already in profit um but i got in and yeah. what'd you say i'm not in who was that oh sarah. Sarah. sarah okay i see your thing now um but wait did you want to get in though yeah i do yeah oh, go ahead and get in like you guys yeah you don't have to wait for a see, just get in hit that buy button oh. hmm. you said yeah. bye yeah, yeah yeah just hit it Hit it. Okay. <laughs> Literally, just hit oh. it. So I'll tell you what your TP can be um, okay. right now. So I'm going to just do 150 pips because honestly, you always guarantee 50 for show, for show, for show. Mm -hmm. But like, you damn near always guarantee like all of them, like all the TPs for real. That's why I most of the time just keep it open 
but I did a double entry and I have one open and I have the other one like not open. So three, seven, this is like 152, you know, that's cool. Three, seven, five, three, five point three. And I I still recommend putting an alarm though. Set an alarm. Three, five, three, five point three and for 15 minutes. Yeah. Well, like 12 minutes. Just so okay. that you see it in 15 minute increments, because a new candle is going to come every 15 minutes. So you'll be yeah. able to see what's going on. And then if okay. you want to put a stop loss, um, your stop loss is going to be 50 pips. Um, so that is, this is if you literally, if you want to put a stop loss, um, this is like 56. So three, seven, is that right? Is that the right number? Yeah. Is it? Three seven three two five. No, okay. no, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. That wasn't it. That wasn't it. Oh, okay. Hold on. This is it. Okay. Three seven three two nine. Three seven three two nine. Point five seven. Point five seven. And then the stop loss it, it just takes you out of the trade. Right. So it stops your losses basically. So if you know if if you were in this and then it decided to do all of this, you're, it would have taken you out. You wouldn't have even been like. You know, you wouldn't have taken this hard hit type. So right. this, we are in a, right now we're in a three to one ratio. So, um, cause we use TP three. So we're, ha we have, you know, 150, we're looking to gain 150 pips and we're only, um, but well, we're looking to gain 150 pips. And then our risk is 50 pips. If I'm saying that mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Our risk to reward. Yeah. It's three to one. So that's really good. Um, so TP one, you know, is one to one ratio, 50 pip TP, 50 pip stop loss. And then TP2 is two to one, 100 to 50, and then 150 to 50. Um, so the stop loss is always 50. And I'll show you guys how to do that again. You just go get the ruler. Let's say you're about to get in right now. So of course you'll start where price is and you'll just take it up. You're looking at the number above, you know, in front of the decimal. You do not count. This is how you we're literally counting pips. We're literally counting the pips right now. So right now I'm at 134 pips. You do not count pips the same for every single pair. So don't try to count pips for regular Forex like this. It's not, that's, it's not the same. Um, it, 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 the numbers even look a little different. And that's something that we'll just, you know, we'll get into another day, another time. Um, but hopefully this made sense to you guys. It's very, very simple, honestly. Once you guys know the steps, and this is for any product strategy on this platform. Once you know the steps, you are good. Like you're good. You can go do it by yourself. You like you don't need to wait for a live. You don't need to wait for somebody just to tell you. You don't need to wait for a signal. You are making money on your own. So if you learn hyperdrive, you should be able to trade it on your own. If you learn cash cap, you should be able to trade it on your own. Like you know colors and you have it still. You should be able to trade it on your own. Like there should be no reason why you're not making money, you guys. There should be no reason. Um, does somebody else have a question? Okay, cool, cool, Luis. Cool, cool, cool. Does anybody else have any other questions? Anybody else? No, 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 no. That's it, y'all. This is not long at all. I mean, Ethereum, it's the same. It goes, oh, there's one more thing I want to add, too. One more thing. I almost forgot. I always leave this part out, too. Um, but I'll be doing it by myself, and then I'll be thinking, like, dang, I forgot. Um, but this is Ethereum. Ethereum was talking about the sale. Of course, this was six hours ago. Um, but you know, it did a little drop a little bit. So it doesn't look like Ethereum is yet ready to buy. Um, but if you guys go over to your alert panel and you see where it says original, if you click that, you can change it to smooth and look at how it's a little different. You cannot put any indicators on smooth though. I've tried. This is honestly just going to give you long-term take profits. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. A day ago. And it's from the educators. So this is basically the signals that they kind of call on um, swipe coin, like the copy and paste signals. That's what it is. Ah, See, you guys, you learn something. Like, you just catch on to things, like, every single day. This is literally what they call on swipe coin. So, and I know that because, like I said, they have the TPs. Well, if I can find it. But let me, let me try to zoom out. Because they give us a lot of alerts, but you got to, you know, play around with it and stuff. So you can see. So this says looking for Bitcoin to hold this previous breakdown point for a continuation higher. Resistance slash weakness needs to show as strength support here. Um, a whole lot of words. So um, and then continue higher. So as you can see, it did a whole lot. 
Um, and I can see it's underneath this cloud anyways, and it's underneath the EMA. So I'll, I'm already knowing that it's not going up. Because um, you guys, the indicators, they're there they're to help you. Like once you learn how to read these indicators, you know how to read the market. So if it's under the EMA, the orange line, you already know that it's selling. And then the cloud as well is selling. And then as soon as it get above it, it's buying up. It's buying up. So I don't see any of the tech profits though. That's very odd. I usually always, okay, that's what I wanted to show y'all, but for some reason it's not on here. Cause it's usually like red lines and it literally says TP, TP1, TP2, TP3, um, but I don't see it right now. But this is something else that you guys can come and look at, especially for long-term um, trades. So, I mean, we just got into it. You guys see how it's still above you know, the EMA. So it's still, you know, it's still looking good. It's not, you know, like, oh, it's below. Oh my gosh. Maybe we should have bought. Um, so nothing like that. Ethereum usually has TPs too. What are these lines? Oh, look. So look, this is what I was talking about, but couldn't find it on Bitcoin. But they literally predict like what the take profit is going to be. But as you can see, Ethereum it says potential higher low buys confirmed on the twist of the cloud from red to green. Um, so, you know, it did buy up. It did its thing. Uh, it didn't, I don't even think it hit TP1. Like literally came so close, unless it did, but it doesn't really look like it did. That's, that looks terrible. Um, and then it started to come down. So that's why moving, knowing how to move your stop loss and profits, you guys, is key. I used to never want to move my stop loss and profit because I was like, I don't want them to take me out. Like, what if it take me out and then it go up again? Like, what if it don't take you out and it go down, down, down? Like, you're going to be upset. Like, if you would all, like, oh my gosh, please go up, please go up. Now you crying, you sweating. Don't, don't put yourself through that. Move your stop loss up. Move your stop loss up. If you guys need to learn how to navigate your trading platform for regular Forex and crypto better, I definitely recommend that you catch the regular Forex trainings. Um, I've been doing them at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, but if I also have to do a, if I have to do a prospect call at that time for Royal Circle, I won't be doing the 3 p.m. call. So yesterday, I did have to do the 3 p.m. prospect call. So we did not have a 3 p.m. call. Um, but, you know, I will work on having, when, when I do have those, just to have someone fill in and also run the Forex basics. Um, but on Monday and Wednesday is when we go over terminology and like actual basics, you know, note taking and things like that. And then Tuesday, um, Tuesday, Thursday, we, we spend the whole time on the MetaTrader 4. Meta, I use MetaTrader 5, but whatever you want to use, we spend the whole time on Tuesday and Thursday working on that. And then on Friday, I kind of switch it out. Today we did crypto. Um, I know at one time we talked about um, get, how to get residual income because you guys are all making money. So let's get y'all paid on Friday because I got paid on Friday. If you got paid today, um, drop a money bag in the chat. I just want to see something. Um, if you got paid today, if nobody on this call got paid today, that's 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 why we need we need y'all to be on these calls so we can help y'all because trading account got to get funded some type of way. Um, my dog needs some nice dog food. Um, I probably going to Cali very soon. And I can't do all of that, pay bills, all of this different stuff, just relying on trading. I'm going to be real with you. Because um, trading is just up and down. It's, it's just up and down, being 100. Um, so Ayana, period. I'm already going, period. Big P1000. Um, so I'm glad you guys were able to hop onto this call, get some value, some information, and learn more about just the market, learn more about this skill. And if you guys have any questions about this, definitely reach out to me. Don't hesitate. Um, but I look forward to seeing you guys every single day, honestly, at this time. Like, if you don't, if you see it's 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, 4 p.m. Eastern, and I am not sending a Zoom link, go into the Global Empire and be like, hey, Ebony, like, where the Zoom link? Like, what are we learning today? Because um, this is the this is the best time in the schedule where nothing else is going on. And I always got value to add. I'm not even going to lie. Um, so I appreciate y'all for hopping on. I will save this recording. Um, yeah, I think it'll just stop whenever I'm done. So I will save this recording. Um,